So as you can see, we've got plenty of things that have been changing on this server, like this, and maybe like this, or like this, or like this, with some acacia trees right outside, or maybe like that thing over there, or maybe this huge structure over here. Yes, a lot has changed, including some demolitions, including some movings, and other things. First bit of information, this. This has been, this is my new base. I am in the ruins district now, and I've moved to futuristic district. Second, um, Enderbite has moved out of his starter base and is now over here, and he's making a shop somewhere over there that we'll go check out. This is his base, and it looks amazing so far. And it's only the entrance. And Vented Products House, um, not gonna be here anymore. It's coming down, all of his stuff is getting auctioned off because he's not really going to be here anymore. Libraries here, a new shop here that nobody's claimed. That hasn't changed. There's a Santa hat on the default dance that's been all messed up. There's a Christmas tree built entirely by yours truly. And tag has been going on, but it's not on right now. Um, Ryan's base hasn't changed really much. And a lot of people have been putting presents under, well, by a lot, I mean, like, the four people that actually participated. So we've got Jack Scorpion's gift, which was by me, uh, two diamonds, uh, three stacks of sand, some food, some redstone, a couple dyes, some feathers, whole ton of eggs, and two enchantment books. Uh, Ryan's gift, uh, Zach has already taken his gift. Um, Ghostly Ty has taken his gift, Optimum Super has taken his gift, and I have taken my gift. Um, got the huge tree, we've already seen that. Um, we can go over and check out my old starter base, which I th I'm pretty sure last episode was still full of all my stuff. But now it's not, there's nothing in there anymore, and it's all done. As you can see, there's no dirt hut here anymore. This huge forest that was here is gone. There's a whole bunch of things back there. Ghostly Ty's base has changed um, a little bit. This I need to take down because two people didn't, like, choose their secret Santas. And this is all made by me, so... I, this is all my stuff. I can claim it and put it back into my storage area. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these two papers. I actually don't. But... Down here is actually uh, my only shop at the moment, except that landscaping thing over there, that's going to be my next shop. I'm going to make a landscaping look pretty cool, I'm pretty sure. But in here, we don't we don't have a door anymore because a creeper blew up here, so now it's just like a little bit of a cave entrance. But you come on in, it's, there's still my mine down here because it's a pretty good mine. I just left it open. Got our chicken farm working away. There's another stack of feathers so we can put into stock but basically chicken one diamond per stack one diamond for three stacks and feathers and then if um, chests are empty use this chest um, only if there are stacks in here there's some raw chicken in here I don't know how uh, this isn't going off because it doesn't do that all the time so let's just hope that yeah, let's let's just like get all these going and then we should be all set. There we go. And then let me grab my dirt and then just build up these two blocks here. And our chicken farm's back in order. That's good. Alright. Let's also um study for the fact that I have a cat now, um, that I didn't show you. Its name is gonna be Maddie, but I'm gonna have many other cats. And I'm also going to have many other dogs. Like, I still have Charlie, but he's still over in the Futuristic District. Because there's been a lot of stuff that I haven't moved yet, including all my horses. And that's what I was hoping on doing in this episode, was building a couple ruined um, stables and pet areas. Um, pet areas, because I'm going to have a pig named Party Pig. I'm going to um, I'm gonna have basically, like, two of every animal. And they're going to be my pets. And then I'm also going to have... A couple other ones, like, these pigs could be my animals if they really wanted to. And, I don't know if you guys were able were able to recognize this yet, and I don't have a boat to go over to the futuristic district. <sighs> Alright, 
I don't know if you guys were able to um, recognize yet, but I'm missing a couple things. I don't have my diamond sword or my diamond pickaxe or anything. That's because I died and I lost all my stuff because I went AFK and I forgot to encase myself in a box or I didn't like log out or anything and I guess that's what happened. This huge mob spawner thing is deactivated by the way, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, um, I, and I actually ended up losing all of my stuff, including my overpowered bow, which had power five on it. Uh, it didn't have flame. It didn't have infinity, but it did have flame and punch on it, I believe. And it was a one shot, one kill to all mobs, but not, um, players. And so, um, yeah, I lost that. I lost both of my diamond pickaxes. Um, no diamond sword. I just remembered. I don't have a diamond sword. Where's my boat? <coughs> Here it is. My bad as well. Um, if you haven't been able to recognize, I am sick at the moment. So, it's always great to be sick two days before Christmas because it's the 23rd today yeah you gotta love it but i do have a cat i haven't named it yet because none of my name tags are over here but it's in our it's in this little play bin over here we got it from a village that i that we went to on an expedition the other day by the other day i mean like yesterday but yeah see this this bow is like a two shot at the moment so like it's not really that good but hopefully once I get power five on it, because it's powerful, powerful, power four, um, it should be all set. This is my little waterfall that I built um, yesterday as well. And I was thinking about putting a cave back here and like making like a dinosaur or, so or an egg or something. I don't know. Just something kind of cool to fill in the space. And I want to take a look over at my landscaping shop because we are going to be working on this little by little. But as you can see, just like in the actual Hermitcraft, I've started up a geometricified, um, kind of like landscaping style, the same kind that's in Mumbo's base at the moment, and holy cow. Right now, it's, I think it's a two, yeah, it's a two-shot kill to the head. Um, so yeah, but like, yeah, I've got a bunch of materials here, we're still building. I've got to bring over some stone to make some rocks and stuff, and then I'm also going to make some squared trees same thing that scar did um but yeah so let's head over to my futuristic base um and i want to tell you that i am still gonna work a little bit in the futuristic district i my my, my main base isn't really gonna be anywhere except um in the ruins district so i'm mainly gonna have all my stuff there because it's the closest to um spawn area and you know we could probably use, um, could probably use, um, a good, um, a good person on the server who just goes everywhere, but we could also, um, use an area that's closer to spawn, because if you know, my futuristic base is, like, a good two to three hundred blocks away in the ocean, um, so it is helpful just to have a little bit of um, a little bit of a closer base, and because it's raining out, it's getting really hard to see, um, when it's raining out, but hopefully we should be able to see, yep, there it is right there, our, um, our little futuristic base thing, I don't know if this was here in the last episode, but it's basically just a water elevator up, but I told you my plans last episode, and that was a very, that was like two weeks ago, I'm sorry for that, but I was gonna like make a huge dome up in the sky, it was gonna be floating, it was gonna be cool, but this used up most of my resources, and then I had to go out, get a bunch more resources, and I still didn't have that much, so I thought, you know what, I can't really do anything right now, might as well just, you know, go do, in the, do it in the ruins section, because I really like the ruins section, it's a, it's a unique idea, it's great, and I think um, a lot of other people like it as well. And I'm going to release this turtle. But as you can see, we still have Charlie over here. And I want to bring him with me. 
and then next we'll have our horses but I want to just make sure that all my other animals stay in uh, what happens what is happening to my skeleton horse can I just not hop onto him in the water why can't I hop on to this this kind of weird but I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, and so yeah, basically we're take we're gonna take all the stuff back down and we're gonna bring it all over to um, the base over in the ruins district somewhere over there. And since when did all this get stripped? I mean, I'll take it. Stripped logs are actually pretty useful. But yeah, so all those leaves were got were collected by me and that took a very long time I grew most of the leaves came from myself here some people donated and then um, when you saw all those like bear trees behind <laughs> ghostly ties base yeah that may or may not have been me taking the leaves right off the bark but uh, yeah no no having to worry John but yeah um he was pretty cool with it I left all the I left all of the um, blocks over there and all that, so he can get all that as well. But I've got tons of clay I can use for bricks. But we've also got a bunch of other stuff in here too. Like I want to take these sea pickles. Yeah, I kind of just want to make like a nice little area around that pond area. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get some stuff that I can decorate with. So all these like flowers and stuff I can bring. I'm gonna bring the instant health potion and then there's some potatoes and stuff here as well I basically only got the farms the trees all of my pets over there and these chests and then once I bring all that over it's pretty much over but what we're trying to do is we're trying to find another jungle or just a jungle so one we can get um one we can get um uh, eh, jungle wood for our cocoa beans because we have not gotten that yet. And two, because we want to, um, uh, we want to find bamboo and pandas so then we can make, like, scaffolding and stuff like that. But yeah, as you can see, this is really all I've got for some of my gray concrete. And then I've got, uh, a little bit scattered around in all these chests. Uh, peonies will work. Oh! That's a drown. Hey! You do not get to hurt my little, my little Charlie, my little Charlie dog. Can I feed you fish? No. All right, I think I've got some meat somewhere. Uh, yeah, I've got p cooked pork chops. There we go. He's back up to love hearts, so that's good. Uh, let's try to make you teleport over here. There we go. All right, he's out of the water. And then let's try to take some valuables. So I need name tags, so I'm going to take those. Um, a lily pad will be good to bring over there. What else do we have? I'm breaking three, mending one lure two, fishing rod. I don't really need that. Could use some of the dirt, I guess. Um, more nautilus shells. Uh, keep that there for now. Um, nothing really in that chest. Ooh, tons of coal. I might take that. Um, but I've only got two slots left. I'll actually leave that and take a stack of coal. Um, leave this, take another stack of coal. Um, and then we've got two slots left. Do we have anything else of value? Flame one, infinity one. Mending one. Not really that good. I'll most likely just leave that there. What's here? Just melons. Really, I've taken all of my important stuff. May as well take this saddle. Do all my horses down here have saddles? One, two. Yeah, and then you don't need a saddle for skeleton horses. Alright. I should be good on that side of things. Yeah, I've got one slot left. I guess I'll just take the rest of this coal and that'll be it. So, Charlie, you can come with me over here and make you sit down okay 
Wait a second. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Come here, you. He dropped his trident. Alright, what can I drop for this trident? You know, stripped spruce logs I don't need. Yes, he dropped a trident. Alright, I'm gonna bring that back with me. I'll drop all the spruce logs. I don't need those. <coughs> I was not expecting him to drop a trident. Holy cow. Alright, Charlie, you can hop into the boat. I will hop in right after you. And I will bring you to meet your new f kitty cat friend. And we're gonna name a bunch of kitty... We're gonna get a bunch of kitty cats. I'm trying to get five um dogs. So that's good. Hopefully we can get five dogs. Because if we don't, that's gonna be kind of sad. Because we do need we do we do need five um, wolves to get an achievement, um, but yeah, I've got one. I need four more, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on a skeleton hunt, and then I'm gonna go and look around in all the forests and taigas and spruce forests and all those places that spawn wolves. Um, but yeah, so what we're gonna do in this episode is we're gonna go over. Instead of just building all the animal pens, which we don't even have like all the st all the materials needed for that, um, what we're gonna do is instead of that, I, I keep I keep repeating myself, but instead of that, what we're gonna do is we are going to um um yeah oh my god I can't speak today um. We are going to um, uh, decorate the pond area. Oh, and there's my kelp. Take that. And let's go, my dog. We will head off into the world. I'm going to help this dolphin get back into the water. Um, but let's go, doggo. We shall make our way back to um, your new home in my base. I'm just hoping that... Um, I'll have enough room in my animal pen for both dogs and cats. Because if I don't, then I may need to, um, I may need to make more than one. Just, like, one for cats and one for dogs. I think I'll have enough room for both. It'll just be kind of cramped. But, yeah, so, um, I'm thinking I'm going to be releasing more Fortnite videos. I know I said that I wouldn't be. But that was back when Season 6 was out, and Season 7 came out, and it's so much cooler than Season 6. I gotta hand it to them. They did very, very well. But, yeah, so, um, we are going to be um, playing some more Fortnite soon, so that'll be fun. But let's push Charlie in. Charlie, you have a new roommate named Maddie, which I will name in a second, as soon as I get the name tag. Let me just go do that right now after I drop all this stuff into a chest. Um, so let's drop all this into this chest, I guess. Except for all the stuff that we need. So I don't need that. I don't need all this. The coal I actually do need for a second because I'm going to make all that into blocks and then put them in the ore chest. Um, I brought potion of healing and I think that's just about it. So let's make all these into blocks. 19 more coal blocks, which is really good. Um, yeah, so as you can see, we've got a nice ores chest going on here. Um, got over a stack of coal blocks already, which that is very, very good. We are trying our best to get as much as, mu as many materials as possible. Um, hence why we went on that huge um, trip, and I completely forgot to do the name tag or put away this trident so let me put let me just take one put all those away and I'm gonna oh, I don't know what I'm gonna name the cat I'm gonna name the cat uh it's not really I don't know just kitty I don't know. you know what what I'll do I'll let you guys decide what I name my kitty cat. Go down in the comment section down below and suggest good names for the kitty cat. And hopefully yours will get chosen. And I will make that, and I will name that, um, that nice little kitty cat, um, the name of your choice. 
but let's start decorating. First, we're going to add a couple um, sugarcane areas where sugarcane can, you know, grow, grow into some good sugarcane, and hopefully that'll be nice. Um, we can also put some along the waterfall, maybe, maybe on the other side as well. Um, so maybe some like right here, and maybe some right here. That's looking pretty good. Um, next, what we can do is we can take our um, lily pad, we can place that one singular lily pad down there, then also place some kelp down, as long as maybe some reeds under. Oh wait, can I not place? He's underwater. I guess I can't. I thought I could, but I guess not. Um, that's kind of sad. Um, I'm going to have to make some bone meal, but um, let's light this pond up just a little bit more with some sea pickles, and then maybe around it we can put some dried sea pickles. Um, we do need um, to get some prismarine, because we haven't done that yet, and... Um, we do need to make some conduits, especially in the coral reef area, because, you know, um, we could, we could, yeah, we definitely need to gather some more coral reef, and it makes it a lot harder without a conduit. Um, but let's make some, like, dried pickles just around the area. Um, maybe a few here, and maybe just three here, and maybe one just sitting over here in this corner. And then we can decorate with a couple flowers. We got some aluums, 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 aluums. Ugh, I'm sorry, my throat hurts really badly right now. But I'm making another video because, you know, it's Christmas Day and, or it's not Christmas Day, but it's really close to Christmas, and I just want to get another video out for you guys. Um, so hopefully you can watch it on Christmas. Um. Or you can just watch it after Christmas, after you've had a great time with your family and friends and all that. Um, but yeah, we've got a pretty good, um, pretty good area going on right now. What I want to do is I want to add some like artificial rocks here, so, um, just some that are pointing maybe out of the, out of the waterfall, or maybe just some on the side of this mountain. I don't really know, but um, yeah, this is hopefully going to be a really cool. Um, place where people can just, you know, come around and hang about by the ocean, not the ocean, by the pond. We'll get some fish in here as well, um, maybe some tropical fish. If not, then we'll get some salmon and some cod and not a sea turtle, but m yeah, probably some tropical fish, maybe even a puffer fish. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I think this is just about good. Maybe just maybe one more patch of sea pickles here and maybe a three patch here but yeah it's looking pretty good right now so this is our pond at the moment we're gonna have some vines coming down here so like actual vines and maybe some like leaves we can also have um our cave go right behind there and all of that but what i want to do now is i want to leave a present for enderbite because um he was one of the two people that um were in the dispenser still, but he was also, um, the only person in the dispenser that was willing to get their stuff with, that was, like, on the server in time to, like, look at the secret Santa. Um, can you dig it? Or his base is, like, somewhere over there. He has not been on the server in a very long time, and same with Vent- Well, Vented Product has been on the server, I think it was, like, Friday night, but the problem is- he hasn't been committed enough, because he got on the server for five minutes, he was like, oh, I'm bored, and then he got off. So, what we're trying to say is, basically, if you want to come on Hermitcraft, you got to be committed. And, um, if Candy Diggit is not committed enough, then he his stuff will be taken down. And if he wants to join again, he'll have to be committed. Um, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... I'm committed. I hop onto Fortnite a lot, but that's only when, like, the 14 Days of Fortnite challenges come out. Or, you know, some one of those, like, big things comes out. Then, yeah, I just, I want to make it so then, um, I can get that stuff done. But then I can also get all of the stuff on this server done. If that makes a little bit of sense. 
But what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna make up a little bit, a little inventory space of what we want to do for um, uh, Enderbite. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take one chest. That's gonna be his singular chest that we give him, and we're just gonna start filling up our inventory. So we're gonna add two diamonds right in the middle, just because I want to be generous. I want to be nice. Um, he does have diamonds, and I don't really have that many diamonds, but you know what? Um, that's okay. I'll give him some iron. Uh, I'll give him all my lapis, because I don't really need it. Um, fill these spaces in. Two, my, my only two emeralds, I'll give to him. Um, I'm going to, um, split this in half, and then I'll keep this gold which I need to make into blocks, but then I'll take the 14 and I'll put it right here. Um, and I think that's enough from here. I'm not going to give him any of my redstone or coal because I know that he's got a lot of that and he probably wouldn't appreciate that. Nautilus shells, I think he's got a lot in and so does um, Ghostly Tie because they, they've been doing a lot of fishing. But I'm going to add some tridents in, uh, two name tags, um, I do need to go fishing more often for more name tags, so I will be doing that. Uh, de we can give them both of these because I don't really need enchantment books at the moment. Um, and if I do, then, well, boohoo, shame on me, but there should be an enchantment book store opening up soon. We got some more clay here. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a spider. Yeah, see, the problem with the ruins bases is because they're ruined, you can't really, like, make a nice little enclosed area unless if you do something like I have but I didn't really like you can still get in through the walls especially spiders because the roof is basically just like a tarp um, if you haven't been able to notice and sorry I moved um, the mic a little bit um how long is this video been going for about 27 minutes Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be dropping off this lovely um, present for him. So what I'm going to do is I am going to skip ahead to when I've finished giving him all to when I've finished um, when I've given him the whole chest and he's all good with it. And then I shall head on to. Um, the outro so I will skip ahead to that right about now all right guys so we have finished filling up my inventory and we are now heading over to his little start of his base I am going to go put it right at the entrance so hopefully he knows um, so hopefully he'll be able to see it and if he doesn't then that'll be kind of sad but you know what it's okay um, but yeah we're gonna try to make it as noticeable as possible um, we're gonna put a sign on top of it saying, you know, here you are, your secret, here's your gift to you from me, from, you know, Party Pig. Thought you needed a gift, so I gave you one from Party Pig. And so, that's what we'll do right now. Let me just type it very quickly. Alright, so this is what it says. It says, thought you may have wanted a Christmas gift, party pig. So what we're going to do now is we're going to throw in our gift. Um, we're going to just, you know, throw in our gift. Make it all nice and snazzy. Um, 
make sure that nothing stacks. So like the golden stuff doesn't go in there. I'm going to give him his name back because, you know, he might want his name back. Oh, I forgot that the clay is already in there and it could stack. This could all stack. This could stack. This could stack. And this could stack. So there's his Christmas gift right there. That's what we're giving him. Hopefully you have a very wonderful Christmas, even though I know you celebrate Hanukkah. Um, but yeah, hopefully you have a very nice gift indeed. Um, but I think that is all that I have enough time for, guys. Kind of like how Mumbo says it in his outros, but that's all I've really got. Um, that's all I've really got to show you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Goodbye!